What's up? So real quick, everybody wants to know how to get what they want out of life. So whether that's building a successful business, whether that's successful relationship, more freedom, more time, uh, more money, whatever the case may be. People want to know how you can be more successful. How can you get what you want <clears throat> out of life? And one of the things that I tell people, tell clients when they ask is you can't know how to get what you want until you know what you want. And here's the thing, <clears throat> most people don't really know what they want. People think they know, um, but very often the thing that, that we think we want is not the thing that we really want. And a plane flying by, so I'll let that go for a second. So here's the thing about <clears throat> here's the thing about getting what you want out of life. It's knowing what you want out of life, right? When you know what you want then it's a lot easier to get it. And there's steps to that, right? And one of the steps before knowing what you want, well, the step after knowing what you want is really understanding why you want what you want. A lot of us think that we want certain things. We think we want more money when what we really want is more freedom. But when we say we want more freedom, what we really want is the ability to do what we want whenever we want, right? We think of that as freedom. But freedom is a very <clears throat> generic thing. What does freedom really mean? Freedom for most people is actually a lot more specific. And when you get more specific about what you want, right? So for instance, if you want to spend more time with your kids, what does that mean? Because if you're a parent, we know that we don't want to spend all the time with our kids because we need we need breaks too. You know, most parents won't even admit that. We love our kids, but we want to be able to spend the time that's most meaningful to us and to them. So if we want to spend that time with them, then define it as, I want to be able to spend bath time with my kids. I want to be able to tuck my kids in bed every night, or I want to be able to sit down with dinner with them for family dinner every night and have a conversation to be able to debrief from the day. I want to be able to be able to go to um, their ba their ball games, dance recitals, piano recitals, whatever that is. <clears throat> Whenever I want to be able to go. Whenever they need me to be there, I want to be able to be present with my kids because that is meaningful to me. Why is that meaningful? And continuing to dial down on why things are meaningful really matters. Why is that meaningful? Because if I know why I want what I want and I can get super specific on what that is, then I get super clear on the things that allow me to get there. It helps in my decision making because now I am not in a position where I'm saying, well, crap, I don't know um, if this is really what I really want. I don't have to do a whole lot of thinking because it's pretty clear that this thing is either going to take me further away or closer to what I really want. And being able to get super granular, super specific on what you want is really important. Why is that important? Because a lot of the things that paralyze us, the things that we think that we want, and we define it in very broad terms, or we define it according to a number, right? I wanna make a million dollars a year or $10 million a year. I wanna build a $100 million business. And we really, really get in on this track and we're just pushing and pushing and pushing to get to this thing that isn't really what we want. Okay. Closer to the airport, so. We get, we get closer to the thing that we think we want and further away from the thing that we actually want. And it's not until we actually realize 
we actually build that $10 million or $100 million company that we realize, you know, that's not what I wanted at all because it took us away from the ability to have that freedom, to have that time with our kids. And many people don't realize that until it's too late. You know, if you're a parent, people often talk about, you know, it goes so fast when it comes to your kids. They grow up so fast. And they do. But it takes a kid 18 years to grow up, which means that if you're spending 18 years going in the wrong direction, that's a lot of pain. That's a lot of time that you can never make up. So what would it take for you to be able to create 15, 13, 12, 10 years more freedom, more time with your kids, 18 years more time that you could spend with them, that you could have the freedom to be with them, to be fully present and there for them whenever you wanted. What would that mean to you? You start with those two questions. Start with what do you want and then why do I want it? And really take that deep dive. Why do you want to build a business? Why do you want to have this career? Why do you want to make a certain amount of money? What does that mean to you, right? Not what do you think it means, not what does it mean in terms of whatever people say, not just what sounds good. What does it really mean? Meaning is very specific. Meaning is very tangible, it's practical. It's, it's something that you can really see. When you can write that down as a target on your calendar every single day, then you have a lot more clarity and you can create, you can chart a, a much clearer path towards the things that you believe you really want, that you know you really want. So getting clear is important. If you want more, then feel free to DM me. I'll send you the guide that I use with my clients to help them get clear on what they want and why they want it. And maybe if you guys want that, comment below and I will, I will share with you how I actually walked them through that process. It really, really sucks to go so hard on something that you think you want and then realize that the whole time you were climbing the ladder, you were leaning it against the wrong wall. So hopefully that's valuable for you. This is Frederick Douglass Bussey, Ever Forward.